Hey everybody, excuse the cracky voice. Karaoke will do that to you. I'm like sweating because I'm hoofing it to the airport and I'm out of breath. Let me slow down and let me not get hit by this car. Uh, I'm just leaving New York now to fly to the next film festival, which is in Uray, Colorado. And I've been seeing people's beautiful photo essays and thank yous to the fest. Thank yous and, and notes to the fest. And I, I'm, I'm going to post a photo essay too, or a photo dump, depending on my bandwidth, because let's be real. I take fewer essays than dumps, so I just want to take this chance to say something while I can. What? I've never been an official selection at Tribeca. This is nuts. Fifth time's a charm. I'm so grateful for everything that's transpired in the past week and a half, and so grateful for everyone who's shown generosity and kindness to this little film, specifically to me. Not out of narcissism, but because I'm the best equipped to thank people who have impacted me specifically. So thank you. You know how you can thank a company or organization, but not necessarily be thanking a person? Like, I can be thankful to the retail store I worked at for the formative years, but not necessarily be thanking my homophobic boss, right? Or like thanking Amazon for the amazing 20% discount, but not be like thanking Jeff Bezos. Uh, well, I want to thank Tribeca for the amazing time and opportunity, and I want to personally thank Meredith Gill, Jason Gutierrez, Deanna Troy. <laughs> Sorry, that's not your last name, but I'm walking and shooting video so I can't check my email and hey, if Jane Rosenthal can flip someone's last name on opening night, I'm in pretty good company. Um, I want to thank Farida Gabadamosi for bringing me into the fold. I've never done Tribeca. This shit is sick. KPUSA, Michelle Sugihara, Marvin Yue, ACV, what? Chris Montello, Judy Lay, uh, John Wu, you guys, figuratively, genderlessly, you guys, y'all, you all made our little crew feel like stars, stars. And I'm gonna say this because it's on my mind and at my big age, I get to say it like this. If you ever wonder if you're a good person, just remember that you're only as good as how good you make people feel. You're only as good as the goodness that you believe exists in the people around you. Life isn't transactional. The only things that are transactional are transactions. And you don't befriend transactions. Anyone that treats you transactionally is not your friend. You may benefit from what they offer, but they don't have love for you. They just need your shine for the moment, but trust they don't love you. They may say they do, but they're not on your, they're not your peeps. They're not, they might not even be people, they're fucking Amazon. But all the actual people who shine your light back at you, the ones who get, the ones who understand that all of our beams of light are connected, the ones who've already been at your side, they love you. There is nothing beyond them, okay? There isn't some secret cool kid Valhalla out there that's out of your reach. You've just been cultivating a life of success that's blooming beneath your feet. And if you don't pay attention to that shit right now, you're gonna lose it all. You were never the lead character in this movie, this ensemble piece. We are in an ensemble piece. Are you hearing me, co-star? So there. I've been asked by numerous publications all week about advice that I would give to people and I couldn't really think on the fly. <laughs> and you know how you walk away from situations and you're like, oh, I should have said this and oh, I could have said that better. Well, here you go. Something to close out on. And it might be overstated, but as I always say, hey, fuck you. As I always say, like always, you might have already known all this shit, but if we spend all of our time being understated and clever and agree that things go without saying, then they never get said. Ingat. Take care. See you all in Colorado.